Hey man, it's your boy Busy Vlogs and we're back with another video. Why? Hey, hold up. Hold up. It's become a tradition. Why aren't you smiling? <laughs> I knew it, my Ben. <laughs> I said, hey man, it's your boy Busy Vlogs and we're back with another video. Yo, in today's video, we're gonna do something that you guys asked for. You voted for it on Instagram. I'm gonna be doing the how I edit my videos. Oh! But yeah. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys how I edit my videos on my laptop on Final Cut Pro X If you do not know that app, you have to google it. I'm sorry. I cannot explain it to you very well I just know it's on MacBook. I don't think it's on Windows, but yeah Some of you may ask, oh, 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 Joe, how do you edit your videos? Oh, can I have advice? I want to start a YouTube channel Yeah, I get those messages a lot uh. Trust me, you're not the only one. If you're looking at this and you think you're the only one, nah, you're not the only one. Trust me. Um, I am not a pro. I am still learning, but I do know the basics of the basics of the basics of the basics. <laughs> I'm gonna just show you the basic things that you need to know when starting to edit, especially with Final Cut Pro. So a lot of these editing apps, there's like Final Cut Pro, Wondershare, there's iMovie, Premiere Pro, all of these things, they all basically do the same thing. They just have different names for what you gotta do on the interface, all right? For as far as I know, iMovie and Final Cut Pro are the ones I've used. I've also used Premiere Pro, but I'm not really fond of it. I don't really enjoy using Premiere Pro. So I started on iMovie and I thought that was the most easiest interface you could ever start with. So I recommend starting with iMovie if you have a MacBook or a iMac that you're using. But then you can still start on Filmora. A lot of people use Filmora on their Windows and a lot of people use Premiere Pro on their Windows computers or their Windows devices or their, yeah. <laughs> So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my, my video. I'm sure this video will help you with some things, the basic things that you need to know, the basic knowledge on how to edit videos or how I edit my videos. So yeah, let's get into the video. I'll be using my laptop and screen recording from there to show you how I do it firsthand. Before I leave, before I forget, um, follow me on Instagram, get me to 2,000 followers. You know, I just need 70 more. So yeah, share my Instagram account, it's in the link below, and follow me on, on Twitter. My last video hasn't gotten 1k, and I am disappointed, you know, um, I, I worked hard on that video, um, and I expect you to work hard and sharing and watching and re-watching and re-watching one more time because you know I gotta feed my children in the future. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Don't copy me. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that we're on my laptop, um, now I can show you guys how I edit. So uh, right before editing, the first thing you need to do is insert your memory card from your camera. All right. So I used to use my phone to vlog, so that would mean that I had to send the vlog, the footage from my phone onto like Google Drive or something or I used to use um, this app called AirDroid which is for Android um, and I think it was really helpful this app right here so I used to use AirDroid and that's if you're gonna use your Android to um, to film or whatever but if you're using a camera you're gonna have a memory card that looks like this of course and because I have a MacBook Air I have a, a memory card slot first you gotta put in your footage onto your laptop and I'm just gonna show you where my footage is here. All my footage is here. This is footage from a vlog that I wanted to post, but I just changed my mind. And this is the intro video for this video. And yeah, from here, what I usually do is I go to about, I go to about my Mac and I check my storage. I usually am comfortable when I have more than 10 gigabytes storage, because usually my videos take like 10 to like, no, like eight to 10 gigabytes. After that, you just want to jump onto Final Cut Pro or whatever software you're using. So I recommend that when you're starting, you start by using iMovie and then you can jump onto Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, whichever you feel comfortable with. Final Cut Pro is better because it's a very easy interface. It may look confusing, but I promise you now, once you know what everything is, it's very easy. So yeah, first thing I do when I jump onto Final Cut Pro is I go up here to File and I click new 
and I do new project. Don't do new event because if you do a new event, it'll just go somewhere here. I'm not, yeah, here. So you see the untitled? That's an event. So don't do a new event, but do a completely new project. You're going to name your project. So I'm just going to name it screen recording. Oh, uh, yeah. Tutorial. My video, I always put it on 1080p HD. Um, I don't know if you, maybe you'll be shooting in 4K or you have a 360 degree uh, footage. I don't, I don't know, maybe you're doing 720, but I usually think 1080p and 1920 to 1080 is the best resolution. And I, I really don't change this to 60, my, my um, frames per, per whatever, frames per second, I think. I usually don't change that and I keep everything normal. So yeah, so from starting a project, I usually go to Finder and I go and get my footage. Mm -hmm. So let's say I get this this footage, which is my intro. I'm not gonna show that because I need it. Bottle that oh, can Let me get this footage that I took at school. All right. So this is a really short footage. Once I have my footage onto my interface, the first thing I always do is I click here and I go. Right up here to the sound bar, I click on the sound bar and I always analyze my audio by clicking the little wand in the corner. So basically what it does, it analyzes how uh, your voice, how loud you are. So right after doing that, I usually come and I take my color and I drag this color board onto my footage that I'll be using. So after dragging it and I go to the video bar up here, so I just double click and it gives me these options where I can make myself, um, where I basically can edit the video, like like the colors. So you have saturation, you have the dark, um, the shadows, you have the mid-tones, and you have the highlights, right? And of course you have the exposure, shadows, mid-tones, and highlights as well. And yeah, you can play with these, and you can play with the color. So like, let's say you want a, like, a warm kind of feeling. So you usually go around these areas, the yellow and orange areas, you know, play around with it, you know, you usually just, you just do whatever. So I usually don't do this, I don't play with the colors a lot, but then I would come here to saturation, and I would like basically play with this. So after basically doing the color, what I usually do is I test the sound. So by testing the sound, I usually I usually put up the usually put up my loudness. I usually make it to like five to like ten percent. So I usually play around with it. I usually put it around like four or five or so. Uh, how I add my memes? <laughs> so okay, so let's say let's say between here and here, I want to add a meme, right? So I would cut this area, right? So I'm cutting from here, over here, and I'll restart here, it'll restart over here, okay? So what I would do is, I'll do Command B, right? And it'll cut that clip. If you can see right here, there's like a cut, there's a dotted line that shows a cut, and it cuts the clip, right? And then let's say I wanted to start again here, and I'll click B, Command B, and I'll delete what's here in the middle. That clip that was between these two is completely gone. And it, it leaves just a cut right there. Then afterwards, I would add, you can add whatever you want in between that cut. So I would, you can add like a meme that I usually do. Uh, okay, let me just add any random meme video. Let me add this what. So you add it there, you just drag it, and then you play, and it'll do like this. Yeah, so um, that's how it works, basically. How I do my um, my green screens. So basically, a green screen is. Uh, chroma key, which is what it's called. <laughs> I feel so professional. God damn. Boy, if you don't. Um, is a it's a visual effect, <laughs> uh, or post production technique. Yeah, for composting. Okay, so for basically putting two images together. And yeah, if I want to put the subscribe green screen that you always see on my videos, let's say I want to put it here, right? 
So I'll go and I'll find the green screen. I have a green screen uh, thingy. And here, here's my subscribe thing. So when you drag it in, it'll be green. Do not get alarmed when it's green. Okay, that's completely normal. All you have to do is go to the effects tab right here. Not the transition tab, but the effects tab. And then you go down and you select key. Now remember I said it's a green screen, but it's also a chroma key. So remember chroma key is a key, use key, right? So you take this key effect, you just drag it on top of this and voila, it just turns and it comes on top. Look. And basically if you want, you can move this green screen around if you're not limited to what you can do with the green screen. And um, when you want to move it around, you just go to uh, you go to this video effect. Anything you're doing with your with your clip, you have to go to the video effect. So click on the footage or that you're using, basically the green screen, and you will go to like transform the transform bar, and you use the position. So position, play around with it. If you want it in the top right corner, you just move it like let's say 500, and then you move it up. By like 200 or 300, right? And it will be there. And if you play, it will stay there. You are the getting it there. Just look. Do the right. What's busy, guys? Well, how do I do my transitions? You may ask. Transitions are really easy, to be honest. So let's say I want to do a transition, right, from here to like here, right? So I'll just cut this out, and I'll add my transition. Let's say I want to add this one. And watch what it, watch what happens. Do it like how I do it. What's busy, guys? <laughs> how would I introduce how would I how I add my music behind um my uh my uh, how I add my music behind my footage. So I'm just gonna delete this footage because I already showed you what I had to do on that one. So okay, let's say I wanna let's say I'm editing. Uh, let me add this one. All right, this footage, this short footage right here. I'll just add, let's say I'll just add dump so. Yeah, I'll just add this one. All right. I'm going to make multiple of this of this short clip so it can be long enough. So, see the song's right behind it. Right? It's cool, it's cool, right? So, but that's not all you have to do. So, sometimes when you're speaking, you have to be careful, right? And you have to always put down the volume depending on, on how you want it to sound. So if you want your voice to be heard, you can't your volume on, on the song can't be high. It's just not gonna work. So I think a rewind will look good around here. Alright, so if you wanna rewind, basically what you're gonna be doing is let's say you have this clip right here. And he goes to his pants right here. I wanted to stop there. So basically you cut and you copy this with command C. Or you can just double click or right click, I don't know what you're using. And just copy the clip, right? And then paste it right next to it. So the difference between this, the first clip and the second clip, this second clip will be reversing. Let me show you what I mean. So I just click on reverse clip and watch this. So this first clip, second clip is going back. And it looks really cool. People enjoy it. People, It's cinematic. It looks interesting to watch. Even though it's the same thing that you're doing over and over and over. Alright, how I add my font to the uh, to my footage. So let's say the film is going like this, normal, whatever. And I want to add um, I want to add some some words in the middle of his hand right here. So um, basically, what you would do is you click right up here. There's like a T, and it's like font. And you can you can just search whatever you want. So usually I'd use a basic title and I just put it I drag it right here, right? And basically it brings the basic title right there. Uh, you just double click on that basic title bar, right? And you just type whatever you want. So you can just type um let's just type Daisy Gang. Yeah. And you can just play with the font and the size and just read position so yeah you have so many different fonts you can just download fonts from thefont.com right then you can scroll down and just go to glow click, click on the tick so that it actually does it then you choose your glow i, I like red or blue and i just put up the radius and, whatever. and right there 
pops right there. That's how you add font to your video. So you finish editing your whole video and now you want to save, okay? So what I would do, you're going to export. So you go to the top right corner right here and you click on that and you say master file. Yeah. And then it's just you're just gonna save the master file. It's gonna show you how big it is. This one's 1.80 gigs. And you just say next, and then it's gonna tell you where it's gonna save it to the desktop, and then it'll save. Alright, so now it's done rendering whatever and now you have your film or your footage or whatever. Now you can post it. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. It's your boy Busy Vlogs. Remember to like, comment and share. Yeah? But yeah. Alright.